Hey guys, so because it's still so so hot out, um, I decided to make a Taiwanese cold noodles dish. It translates into cold noodles drizzled with a tahini or a peanut sauce all over wheat noodles and different kinds of vegetables. And it is so so cooling and yummy at the same time. For you vegans, this dish usually has some um, strips of egg in there. I found the perfect substitute with the um, tofu puff balls. The texture is almost exact. So yeah, let's get started. Okay, so we're starting with two servings of Chinese wheat noodles, and it's usually, it usually comes in a bunch. You can take two, or it's gonna be about a half a pound. You're gonna cook them according to direction only. Uh, you have to cook them about a minute less because nobody really wants soggy noodles. And definitely taste um, as you're cooking so that you're not, you're getting it to the consistency that you want. Um, afterwards, you wanna just strain that out and then run that guy under cold water because the cold water will stop the cooking process and then keep the noodles nice and kind of al dente. So you can just put that aside right now. I'm cooking the tofu puffs right now, but if you guys eat eggs, feel free to fry one up right now. And um, you wanna do about four or five, and the reason that I'm boiling it is because these guys are fried, so that releases some of the oil, but at the same time, it rehydrates the puffs so it's not as dry, and that'll kind of mimic the, the egg flavor better. Now for the rest of the toppings. I'm just gonna take food processor, I'm gonna take one medium carrot, and then shred those into pieces. You guys can do this with a box grater, which creates really similar results. And then I'm gonna do a half of a cucumber, and this is what's gonna keep um, this dish really nice and cool. And sometimes I don't even like to do it with a machine because it gets too watery and the shreds are too small, so sometimes I will actually uh, cut this. And so with these tofu puffs or with um, your egg, you just wanna cut them into small strips, very much like the carrot or uh, the cucumber, and then put a little bit of salt on them so that they get a little uh, more flavor um, as they are going to be toppings. So here you go, the traditional kind of all three, it's usually eggs, cucumber, and then um, a little bit of carrot, and then you just top it as you please. I lost some of the sauce footage, but all of the ingredients are down below. It's like ginger, garlic, soy sauce, um, peanut butter and you can use tahini for this too um, and then you're gonna pulse it and the tahini and the or the peanut butter will make this sauce really really thick so I usually take a couple tablespoons of water and then um, I kind of just gauge um, how thick or thin I want the sauce but you don't want it too too thin and you want it thick enough to kind of be this creamy sauce that can coat your noodles really well so kind of something like this and then afterwards um, you're basically ready for assembly so divide the noodles up into two you want probably a couple tablespoons of um, that sauce right on, and it's so, so creamy, and it's so, so good. Um, and then just put on your um, cucumbers and your carrots, and then finally either your eggs or your uh, little strips of tofu puff, and basically you're ready to go. And in Taiwan, it is in street carts and in on the streets, just all over the place, On especially on really like hot, humid summer days in Taiwan, this dish is perfect. And um, usually they'll they'll serve it in bags, so it's kind of like a to-go thing. And when you're ready to eat it, basically you just kind of, you know, swirl it all together, and you have this really creamy, like peanutty tahini sauce that is creamy and a little bit sweet and salty and a little bit spicy, and it's just all like the best flavors that you can have for um, for a noodle dish. So there you guys go, my Taiwanese cold noodles with peanut sauce. Um, if you want to see more recipes like this, as usual, please hit like and subscribe. Uh, I definitely hope you guys try this recipe out. Let me know how it is, and I will see you guys again next time. Bye!